Hi, Dan Lewis with Lewis Auction and Estate Services in Paris, Texas. We're getting ready for part one of the Freddy Collection Auction. And since all of you aren't going to be able to make it to the preview, I wanted to share some of the special items, especially the cap guns, that are in this auction. So rather than looking at me, let's get started. The first cap gun we want to talk about is lot number 181. That is the 1950s Hubley Wyatt Earp Buntline Special. It includes the gun belt, holsters, and two Buntline Special cap guns. As it says in the description on the auction, uh, the guns open slightly while being uh, handled. And they do, they open very easily as you can see. Uh, it's, this is how you load them uh, with a roll of caps. But while playing with them, they tend to open, okay? Uh, I don't know how many of you uh, of the collectors are gonna go out and play with them. This one's not as bad, but you can see it still opens slightly and it opens very easily and also uh, I'm not sure if you can see this in the pictures on the website, lewisauctionservices.com. There is a small chip in the grip on this uh, butt line special right there. Otherwise, the guns are in beautiful condition. They even still have the rings on them. Let's move on to the next one. Lot number 183 is a 1960s Hubley custom set. This one, the holsters were, well, they're still mostly gold plate or gold toned, and so are the guns. Absolutely gorgeous set, and yes, the holsters are metal, not plastic, those are metal. The guns are in pretty good shape. And these are Hubley Texan model. Match set, though the red has worn off the star, as you can see, on one of them. But overall, these are in excellent condition. We also have lot number 184 is the matching spurs for this set, but they're a separate lot. This is 183. The spurs are lot 184. Also, as you can see, and we've got this in the description on the website, lewisauctionservices.com. There is a crack and a chip in the grip on one of the guns. Moving on to lot 185. Lot 185 is from Kilgore. Kilgore made the cap gun and Esquire Novelty, the uh, belt buckle, holster, and gun belt set came from Esquire Novelty. These are being sold as a set. This is a Kilgore Lone Ranger cap gun. And this thing is heavy. This is a really nice quality cap gun. And as you can see, it works quite well. So this uh, entire set is actually in very, very nice condition. Uh, a perfect item for the Lone, Range uh, Lone Ranger collector. Lot 186 is a 1940s, 1950s Wyandotte Hopalong Cassidy two-gun rig. And as you'll see in the description on this one, the holsters and uh, guns, or the holsters and belt are in really nice shape. Unfortunately, the guns are not. Uh, one of the guns, we found it just like this, has parts to repair the gun in the holster but this one it doesn't always stay closed it's hard to get it to close and when we do get it closed it just doesn't want to stay that way um, it does fire but the trigger mechanism or rather the uh, locking mechanism is not working properly on this particular cap gun this one works much better both of them say hop along on the side and have hop along Cassidy grips. Beautiful set, a perfect item for the hop along Cassidy collector. This is lot number 186. 
Lot number 187 is the cap gun set from my youth. This is just beautiful. I love the Mattel fanners. Uh, this is the shoot and shell fanner from Mattel and uh, both guns work fairly well. This one tends to be a little stiff and uh, probably a good cleaning would take care of that, but it does fire. Uh, this one as well, kind of stiff, but both are complete. This one, as you can see, uh, if we close get a close up on it, you can see that the gun has lost some of the finish. But overall, these are in pretty good shape. This is the fanner, uh, the shooting shell from Mattel, lot number 187 on lewisauctionservices.com. Moving on to lot number 188. Lot number 188 is probably the prettiest gun rig out of part one of this collection. This is the Leslie Henry Gene Autry uh, two gun rig. And this is a really pretty little set. I especially like the holsters, the way it's put together. Uh, it's a lovely set. Both cap guns are in pretty good shape. And both say Gene Autry on each side of the gun and they have the horse grips on them. It's a beautiful set. Both guns work well and uh, I think any collector would be proud to add this uh, to their collection and put it on display. That's lot number 188 on lewisauctionservices.com. Let's go to lot 189. Lot number 189 is a 1940s Red Ranger. Uh, this is a 10 clicker gun. It is not a cap gun, it's a clicker gun. And as you can see, the Red Ranger is emblazoned on the holster. Uh, we don't have a belt for this one, just the holster and the cap gun, but this Red Ranger works beautifully and considering its age, it's in excellent condition and it fires around with every trigger pull. Moving on to lot 190. Lot number 190 is the 1950s Kilgore Pinto set. Uh, this one's a little unusual because I'm not really sure about this color or this finish. Uh, it looks like somebody painted it but when I did my research online, I found a lot more that looked like this as well. I'm just not sure if this is the original finish. I'm afraid somebody painted these, but again, I can't be 100% sure. But this is 1950s Kilgore Pinto set. Uh, they do work. Uh, this one misses about every third or fourth trigger pull, but both again in pretty good shape again i'm just not 100 percent on that finish the holsters are in pretty fair shape there is some separation on the leather on the back but these are of course you know since it's from the 1950s the holsters are leather that's lot 190 uh coming up next lot 191 Lot number 191 is an absolutely gorgeous Roy Rogers. Uh, it's about a 1950s Roy Rogers set from Kilgore. Two gun rig with just these beautiful matching. This is a little tiny set, but it's just so well made and so good looking. And the guns work beautifully. Uh, but this is the Kilgore Roy Rogers. Each gun has Roy Rogers emblazoned on the side. It's a beautiful set, perfect set for any Roy Rogers collector. That's lot number 199 on lewisauctionservices.com. This is the Frady Collection Part 1. Let's move on to lot number 192. Lot number 192 is 1938 Mark's Lone Ranger click pistol and holster. We don't have the gun belt for this one, but this one, as you can see, it says Lone Ranger on the side. There's Tonto on the holster, and it is, uh, I forget, with fleece lined on the outside. Has fleece on the outside of the holster, and the gun works quite well, and it's in pretty good condition, especially considering its age. That's lot number 192 
Let's move on to lot 193. Lot number 193 is from Actoy. It is a Ren 1010 cap gun and holster. We do not have the belt for this one, but uh, the cap gun is in pretty good condition. It tends to, like a lot of them that open this way, uh, as you shoot it, it tends to gap open a little bit. Uh, these opening mechanisms tend to wear out after a few years, but overall, this one is in beautiful shape. It's got a little staining on it, and the holster's in very nice condition as well. This is lot number 193, the Actoy Ren 1010 cap gun and holster. Lot number 194 is a 1950s Stevens Bango two gun rig. It's uh, the holsters, guns, and gun belt. And these Bango cap guns, a little kind of a snub nose arrangement. These are very nicely made cap guns from Bango. And the action on them is just wonderful. They're also really heavy and well-made cap guns. These are from Bango. You're getting the uh, two guns, the holsters, and the gun belt. Lot 194 on lewisauctionservices.com. Check it out. By the way, this auction ends on Wednesday, November 10th. So you don't want to miss this. It starts, it's a soft close, and it will start to end at 6 p.m. Central Time on Wednesday, November 10th. So you don't want to miss out on this auction. Check it out, lewisauctionservices.com. Lot number 195 coming up. Lot number 195 is a, I believe this, yeah, it's a Kilgore number 14 Lone Ranger Special. Uh, now I left the holster sitting on the desk in my office, but it does come with the holster. We do not have the gun belt just the holster uh, for this Lone Ranger special from Kilgore. Uh, this is a beautiful cap gun. It's very heavy weight and it works extremely well. Uh, just a beautiful piece and uh, would be perfect for any collector, uh, but especially for those of you who are Lone Ranger fans, this is a very special piece. Again, we do have the holster for it. Uh, you can see pictures of the holster on the website, lewisauctionservices.com. Moving on to lot number 196. Lot number 196, this is special because we still have the box for it. Uh, this is a Wyandotte Red Ranger uh, cap pistol. This is the Red Ranger Junior, and I can barely get my finger in there to fire this thing but it works rather well. It's a very nice cat pistol from Wyandotte. It is lot number 196. It comes with the original box. Let's move on, lot 197. Lot number 197 is a Textan of Yoakum, Texas. A Textan holster set. It's in very nice condition. Still in the box, even has the liner in the box, this is the Textan set. You're getting the gun belt and two holsters. Perfect uh, for you to put your favorite cap guns in, but this is all top grain leather. It's a beautiful piece from, uh, it's called the Texas Ranger from uh, Textan in Yoakum, Texas. Lot number 198 coming up next. Lot number 198 is a 1960s Hubley Bonanza two-gun holster. Uh, we've got the uh, two holsters and we've got the gun belt. Unfortunately, the gun belt, just wear and tear over the years, uh, has come apart. But for the Bonanza collector, the Wild West collector, this is from the Bonanza TV show from the 1960s. Uh, just a really nice little piece you can add to your collection. Coming up, lot number 199 is a 1940s Kilgore Bighorn die cast cap gun. And this one is called the Bighorn because, of course, the Bighorn sheet on the grips. Uh, beautiful little pistol, works quite well. I mean, the action on it is in really good condition. Uh, made in the USA. This is lot number 
199 coming up, lot number 200. Right now we have lot number 200. It is a 1950s Hubley Flintlock Jr. single cap pistol. It's by Hubley, Hubley, made in the USA. It's a really nice little piece. Fires a single shot. It is plastic and metal uh, from uh, the 1960s or 1950s, 1960s. Uh, this is the Flintlock Jr. Lot number 201 is a vintage Hubley Cowboy disc cap gun. Yeah, this is lot number 201. Uh, this particular one is a really large, I mean, this is almost a real size cap gun. It is just a wonderful cap gun. You push there to open it. It holds a disc for your caps. And I believe we have some discs in the auction. A really nice cap gun. The only issue is you have to cock it to fire it. The uh, spring does not push it back. The spring is just worn down over the years, but still a beautiful piece. It's nice and heavy. Just a great looking cap gun from Hubley. Lot number 202 is a 1950s Kilgore gold plate Mustang cap gun. I've gotten a lot of calls about this one. Now, the gold plate, of course, the way they advertise these is it's gold plate. It's gold electroplate. It's, it's extremely thin. There are spots on here where the gold plate has uh, worn through. Uh, made in the USA. And as it says in the description, when you look at this one on the website, as you fire it, it tends to open up. The mechanism does not hold very well. Again, I don't know if these mechanisms can be tightened up any. We do not try to repair or make any changes, fix. We don't do anything like that. We leave that to the carrying professionals and the collectors. But as far as this being a showpiece, having this on display in your home or in your collection, it's a beautiful piece, I think. You'd really enjoy it. This is the uh, 1950s Kilgore gold plate Mustang cap gun. Uh, that's lot number 202. Lot number 203 is a 1930s, 40s Wyandotte Red Ranger. And you can see the lithograph is still in really good shape on both sides of this cap gun. Fires, <laughs> fires every single time. Uh, just a beautiful piece the the uh, lithograph on there. There's some wear on the butt of the gun But otherwise just a beautiful piece from Wyandotte Not so beautiful. I am not sure where mr. Frady found this one uh, This one also from Hubley. It is uh, a 10 litho Lone Ranger gun it does not fire and as you can see it's pretty worn out, but even the clicker doesn't click. Spring still works. It just doesn't make the clicking noise anymore, but it's still kind of a cool piece, uh, even in the condition that it's in. Lot number 205. Lot number 205 is the 1950s Cody Colt Paper Buster Gun. Now this gun, you would load it with a roll of paper down here, the paper would come up through and come out behind the gun through this slot. And instead of using caps, this one, when you pull the trigger, fires air through the paper and the paper pops and it sounds like a cap gun. The 1950s Cody Colt Paper Buster Gun from LMCO. And then finally, our last gun in this collection, a 1930s Buck Rogers XZ31 Daisy Rocket Pistol. And I'm gonna cock it and fire it one time. Uh, this is just an extremely, extremely sweet pop gun. And it does work. Uh, I'm just so happy to have this in the collection. It's got some rust on it on the sides. Uh, it just adds to the patina. But just a beautiful piece, a 1930s Daisy Buck Rogers XZ31 rocket pistol. 
Again, all these and so much more. If you go to our website, lewisauctionservices.com, there are 497 lots in this auction, and this is just part one of the Frady Collection. Uh, be sure and watch for part two. But go to the website, register, bid, and we will ship most of the items in the auction. It's Lewis, L-E-W-I-S, lewisauctionservices.com.